All right guys, so you guys may know that July was pretty hectic for me. The month of July was crappy and there weren't that many games that came out that caught my attention. The only game that came out was Octopath Traveler for the Nintendo Switch. And I really wanna play that game, but it looks like it's a really in-depth game and not, not that into R, uh, JRPGs, but I do wanna play that game and give it a shot. Uh, I've heard a lot of great reviews. Uh, the top sites like IGN and GameSpot and stuff like that, they're giving it, you know, high reviews. And a lot of gamers that I follow on YouTube have also said that it's a really good game. But me, not having that background of a JRPG, I really don't know what to do. But I'll give it a shot just because it's, you know, that good of a game or whatever. And I can't wait to play it on Switch. And, you know, let's see for myself if I like the genre or if I like the game as a whole. Octopath Traveler was one of the games that had got the most uh, publicity and attention within the last couple of months and there hasn't been anything else. I'm looking forward to Spider-Man that comes out in September, then Battlefield 5, like you guys know I'm a Battlefield fan. I've been seeing a lot of the uh, closed beta footage for Black Ops 4 and that looks good so I might pick up Black Ops 4. I can't wait for Fallout 76. That also looks good and I can't wait to see more like uh, video game, actual gameplay of that so that I can go ahead and um, you know order it. But I, I for sure know already that I'm going to buy that game. But I just want to see you know a little bit more details about the game and how the VAT system will work and you know the whole multiplayer aspect. What really, who really is your enemy in that game and how do you incorporate the Fallout uh, I guess the Fallout genre or the Fallout way of playing the mechanics into this Fallout 76 when you're working online with other players and fighting other players online. Like I said before guys, this month has been pretty slow. Um, August just started, so I've been focusing on other stuff besides gaming. Uh, I got some new Funko Pops. I'm not sure if you guys you know are into that stuff or not, but I know I like some of the characters. Some of them from, are from the 90s, the uh, childhood stuff that I grew up with. Some of them are superheroes, some of the Dragon Ball Z. They have everything uh, that has to do with Funko Pops. Movies, TV shows, cartoons, comics, anything that you can think of that made it. And they're, you know, they're getting more and more licenses, so that's pretty cool. And I just got into it this past month because of uh, San Diego Comic Con. So I got a lot of the shared exclusives, like the Thor, uh, I got Valkyrie, I got Broly, I got uh, Dustin Snowball Dance, I got the Iron Man Mark One, And I'm trying to finish God of War 4. I've been playing it since April when it first came out and then I stopped playing for a couple of months because I was, you know, I got stuck in this one area and I didn't know how to keep going forward and it was a very simple thing. But, um, you know, I just said, you know, let me take a break from this game for a bit and just focus on other stuff. And I came back into the game and I still love it. It's still like one of the best games that I've ever played. It's for sure the best game I've played this year. And I'm just there trying to grind and trying to finish the game. And uh, I got stuck in that one area. So I had, a, you know, I bought a, st a strategy guide to help me so that I can go ahead and finish. But I figured that out. And then I now I'm moving forward. And I'm in this one area where I'm, you know, there's a really big boss fight and uh, I'm kind of stuck, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and be, defeat that guy and then keep going forward. But yep, that's uh, God of War 4. Like I said, guys, there's not much going on now. Uh, the channel's growing and thank you guys for subscribing and watching my videos. I really appreciate that. And my second to last video, the one about the Spider-Man PS4 Pro, that is really popular and it's been going up and up and up in views and watch time. So guys, thank you for the uh, support. Thank you for watching. I appreciate everything you guys do. Um, I just, you know, try to give you some information and talk to you guys, you know, so go ahead and drop the comments down below. Let me know how you've been um, handling this, you know, downtime in gaming and what games are you looking forward to within the next couple of months because this fall will be crazy and I can't wait for it. And I also can't wait for Black Friday because a lot of the games that have come out already are going to go on sale. All right, guys, so like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate every single one of you guys, and I would not be able to do anything here on YouTube without my audience, and that is you. So thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Like I said, drop your comments down below, and let's go ahead and discuss video games on this downtime uh, of the summer of 2018. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys later.